everyone, I'm Danielle Pollock and I'm teaching you how to fill out an absentee ballot. But first, let's make sure you're registered to vote. If you're already registered, whether that be in person or absentee, that's great. And if you're not, don't worry about it. You have until October 13th and you can do so online. Head on over to vote.org and you can be done in two minutes. Also, every vote counts, so make sure you register to vote. And if you don't think you know enough about a candidate, you can find all sorts of information online. Just make sure you check out a few different sources. Now, let's get into filling out that absentee ballot. First, you will receive a secrecy envelope, a return envelope, and your ballot. When filling out the ballot, you're going to want to make sure you fill in the oval opposite of the candidate of your choosing, and make sure to fill it in completely. Make sure to only use a blue or black ink pen while filling out the ballot. Pencils and other colored pens are not allowed. There's three ways to go about filling out the partisan section of your ballot. Straight ticket, where you only vote for the party of your choice. Nothing further needs to be done here. Split ticket, where you vote for the party of your choice and vote for individual candidates in other areas. Lastly, there's mixed ticket, where you just vote for the individual candidates of your choice throughout the whole ballot. Make sure not to vote for more candidates than indicated under each office title, and if you choose to write in a candidate's name, do so in the area provided but make sure not to write in a name that is already on the ballot. Now, let's turn that ballot over because there's more. Once you have completed filling it out, place your ballot inside of the secrecy sleeve so that votes cannot be seen, but the numbered stub is still visible. After you finish, place that inside your return envelope and fill out the information on the outside. You need to have your signature and your date. Now for submitting your ballot, you can drop it off in your official ballot drop box or you can mail it in yourself but make sure to double check the instructions on your return envelope. Now you should be all set to fill out your absentee ballot. If you need any more information, check out vote.org or michigan.gov.